Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So we have understood how to calculate the excretion quantity. We understood how to calculate the stone soling quantity. Now the next quantity that we are supposed to take out is about the PCC quantity, right? I have written it here. Plain cement concrete work, which is called as PCC, below the footing. Okay. Plain uh, concrete. Uh, I mean the PCC work can be usually M seven point five grade, M ten, or sometimes even M fifteen grade. Here I have mentioned of M fifteen grade of a concrete. Okay. Anything is okay. Uh, so for that, I'll just show you. If you know it's well and good. This is what a PCC looks like. Okay. You can see. A concrete has been placed here. This is a P P uh, P C C plain cement concrete, and to calculate that, what is the thing that we require? We need to know the length of it, right? We should know length of it. I want the breadth of it, and I want the thickness of this. That is, this is the depth. So this thickness, this thickness, what you can see here, right? If you want, I'll show you the next image. Yeah, this thickness we want. So I want this thickness, okay? I want this length, this breadth. Again, it's a concrete quantity, so I want the volume. The volume will be in cubic meter, length, breadth, and thickness will give me the total volume. That is the total concrete required there. Very simple, right? So with this understanding, I'll go to the Excel sheet now. So in the Excel sheet, what I've done is whatever uh, footing sizes we had, no, you know the footing sizes. By this time, you should develop that knowledge. How to look into the footing sizes? It is mentioned here. All the footing sizes I have given it here. Whatever is the footing size, no, one point two by one point two, one point four by one point four, F one, F two, F three. Everything I have written it here. Okay, you can see everything I have written it here. Great. Now, how do you find the PCC quantity? Whatever is your footing size, that will remain. But along with that, what you are supposed to add the offset. What you have, no, the PCC offset because we are calculating the PCC. So the PCC offset what we have on the left side and on the right side, both we have to add along the length and along the width also. This is your width, 50 mm on this. I mean, PCC offset on this side, PCC offset on this side. Simple. Even for the stone soling, also we had done the same thing. The same thing we have to do it for the PCC. Only the thing, the difference is that here the thickness of your stone soling was 150 mm, whereas the PCC thickness you have to refer the structural drawing. I'll teach you here. See what is written here. 50 mm thick PCC. The thickness of the PCC is 50 mm, whereas the stone soling it was 150 mm. Okay, you're getting my point. So only one major difference what will happen is that, yeah, major difference is instead of 0.15, we are going to write here 0.05. That will be the thickness of my PCC. Very simple. Got it. And now again, I'm going to do the interlinking. Okay. Otherwise, if you have not done the interlinking, you could have directly copied this value and you would, you could have pasted it here. Since we have done the interlinking, no, it will not work out, no. So it's no issues. I'll quickly do it. See here. So we have this symbol. Okay. PCC offset is how much in the drawing? Check it out once again. Quickly, I'll do that. PCC offset is 50 mm and 50 mm. This is PCC offset 50, and this is 50. You're getting my point, right? Otherwise, if you're not able to understand, if someone who is uh, watching it for the first time, I'll quickly do it here for you. Okay. Uh, if you know, you can forward my lecture. But if someone who doesn't know that, I'll do it for them. Yeah, this is the footing size what I have. So my PCC will be over that. So this is that X. This is the PCC what I have. Okay, this will be my PCC. Okay, and I know the length. The length what is how much? This is uh, length I know. This width also I know. So PCC offset is how much I'm supposed to take. I'm supposed to take a 50 mm offset on the left side, 50 mm on this side. Okay, it is given in the drawing 50. I'm not taking anything from my side. In the same way, along the width also 50 mm and 50 mm. So what will be your total uh, size of your PCC? Uh, I'll take uh, which value can I take? I'll take this as uh, 1.2. Okay. 1.2. So let us say this is 1.2, and this is also 1.2. Tell me what will happen. Very simple. So this length, I want to find this length now. Okay. I want from here to here, and I want from here to here. Quickly, can you tell me? Very simple. 1.2 plus 0.05 uh, plus 0.05 comes out to be how much? 1.3 meter. 1.3. Similarly, here also it's the same thing. 1.2 plus 0.05 plus 0.05 comes out to be 
comes out to be 1.3 meter very simple you got you understood the manual calculation so the same thing we'll try to do practically on the excel sheet now manual i have taught you excel sheet what i'm going to do i'll do the interlinking that's it plus here 50 mm plus 50 mm is 100 mm directly i input this as a 0.1 okay so that our task is simple 0 0.1 okay yeah 1.2 plus this one done we'll take time but it's okay i got 1.3 1.3 manually what happened manually is uh, i got 1.3 and 1.3 okay yeah we'll do it for others also now 1.4 Plus this one. I can drag it here also. One point four plus this one. And then Okay, I'll pause my video and I'll uh, resume it again once I feel all this value. Okay, and yeah, no issues. We, since we are working on hands-on, we'll do it. No issues. It will take time, but it's okay. So that you get an idea because we have to spend our time on this. Okay, there's no shortcut to this. Along with that, I'll tell you one more thing in the Excel, how you have to work. There's one small trick which I wanted you to tell. Okay, I will tell that. Finish, last one is left out. Once we're done, all our interlinking will be done. Okay, and the last one. If you practice this once or twice, it will be very simple and you can get a very good knowledge in this yeah so i think i've done everything yeah i can verify my answers here also see here if just if you're not sure whether you've done it correctly or not previously we did it no i'll reduce the size yeah check it 1.3 1.3 we have got same thing 1.5 1.5 same 9 1.95 2.1 2.1 2.25 yeah small mistake we have done here either here or there okay here that mistake is there Maybe this interlinking was not done. How much it is? Two point. Yeah, two point three five. Now it is correct. Okay. Maybe see in Excel sometimes I also do mistake. Okay. See this is eleven point two four. Okay. You might have been getting eleven point two four. Sometimes it happens. Okay. No issues. You see now it's matching. 2 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 2.35, 3.1, 3.1, 1.4, 1.4, and 1.65, 1.65, 1.85, 1.0. Okay. It is actually 11.24. Okay. No issues in that. Yeah. Now come to the thickness. Thickness of my PCC is 50 mm. I'll input 50 mm. That is 0 0.05. I'll bring it to the center. Okay. Click on this. Come to the home page. Come to the home page. Click on this. Bring it to the center. Got it. Now what you can do? Just try to drag it in this way okay so everywhere 0 0.05 thickness will come in the same way come here what will be answer 1.3 i'll multiply this by 1.3 i'll multiply by 50 length breadth and thickness will give me the total volume of a pcc required done i did it for one i'll just drag it from here i'm going to drag it in this way it's going to take all the values okay now again i don't uh, so much points after the decimal i'll select everything i'll go here and I'll go with this. I can keep three also. You will keep three. Okay. No issues. I'll keep three. You can keep two also. I'll keep three here, but try to uh, follow one thing. If you're keeping three right from the beginning, keep it three. If you're keeping two right from the beginning, keep it two. Now, final thing is we got, if I want to do F1 footing, one number of F1 footing, I require 0 0.085 cubic meter of a concrete. 
So how many F1 footings are there? I am put, I'll put equal, I mean, total quantity will be is equal to one concrete. I mean, one footing quantity into how many numbers are there F1? Only one is there. Enter. I got an answer here. I'll reduce it and I'll bring it to the center. If you want, you can increase the size. Looks great. And just I'm going to drag it from here onwards. Very simple. Got it. I got the total quantity. And now I'll take the all quantities. Now I'll click here. I'll go for auto sum option is auto sum. It has selected everything. I'll hit enter. Answer has come. Increase the size of this. So 3.746 is the answer what I'm getting. You can make it bold also. Yeah, this is bold. You can increase the size of this also. This small, small things you can do it. Okay. Okay. Bring it at the center. Done. Okay. Great. Now what we can do, we have to verify these answers, right? Again, click here and say auto sum. So it is going to select from here to here. We have to get 21 here. Here also we should have done the same thing. Auto sum. Enter. Okay. We are getting 21, 21 and 21. Good. 21. I'll make it bold. Okay. There it is 21. This is good. Bring it at the center. Okay. Now this quantity 3.746 I'm getting. Let me try to manually verify that. Sometimes I do. Okay. You also can do it along with me 0 0.085 plus 0 0.338 plus 0 0.761 plus 0 0.441 plus 0 0.828 uh, 0 0.481 uh, plus 0 0.24. Yeah. Finally, one thing is left out 0 0.311. So I'm getting a uh, uh, 3.747. So I'm getting 3.746 here. We are matching manually and also Excel answers are matching. Great. So now what is the magic? The magic is that now when I give you assignment, I'll give you an assignment for this particular building. You have to do it on your own. So here, what has happened? See, it's written the thickness of your PCC is 75 mm. You can see 75 mm lean concrete, lean concrete and PCC both are one and the same. So, but the Excel sheet, what I had prepared, it was for how much? 50 mm, right? 0 0.05 plus on both the side, it is 0.1. Now here, what I'm supposed to do, if I want to do it for 75, okay. You've done everything correct, no? Okay, no issues. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, just let us say if I had got uh, 75 mm thickness, then instead of this 0 0.05, I'll make it as 0 0.075 and then just drag it in this way. Okay, done. You'll get quantity. Suppose instead of uh, this thing, uh, instead of 50 mm thickness, if they had given 75 mm, you could have done this thing. Okay, you could have made these changes. Okay. Uh, that is how you're supposed to do it. Another one thing I want to tell. Yeah, another one thing uh, we could have done one more thing also. See here we have done that PCC offset in the same way. You could have done the interlinking of thickness also. Like I did it for PCC offset. Good. Otherwise, instead of uh, writing 0 0.05, what we could have done, we could have created one more offset in this way. And if you had given like a thickness as 0 0.075, and then if you had done the interlinking in this way, no, now also we can do no issues. Let me do it for you. Not required. If you, you do it again, it will be a time waste for me. Okay. What you have to do uh, right here, like I'll tell you what has to be done. See, uh, if you want, you can do else not take a leave. Anyhow, we'll not do that in future. If I get time, I'll explain you nothing. You just have to interlink. Like I taught you for this. No, we are done for the offset. Similar the thickness also, if you change here, everything will get changed. Anyhow, here also we don't have a problem. We just have to drag it, no issues in that. Okay. So we got the uh, total how much uh, concrete is required for PCC? Five point, yeah, for that, according to it, is, it was 0 0.05, right? I'll do it for that. So it comes out to be 3.746 cubic meter of a concrete is required if I want to do the PCC for 21 footings. Got it? Yeah. Now, one thing you see here, okay. Now you can see I've written this. Uh, item, unit, number, length, width, depth or thickness, unit and total quantity. But the moment I go down, what has happened? You don't know now. Okay. Where is the length portion? Where is the breadth portion? What is this uh, row for? What is this column for? What is this column for? But if I go only up to here, it is visible, right? 
but if i try to go down you're getting my point it get disappeared from here and now you are now let us say if you're working on a very big project so it is very difficult for you to understand where is the length return breadth return and all so what you're going to do is one simple trick what you can apply now what i want i want this entire row to get freeze what i'm trying to tell this entire row i don't want this row to go up so what i'm going to do wherever you want that to happen now see i want this portion to get freeze go below one one row below that you have to go that means if this i want to get freeze the next row is this one click on this okay click on this i selected this portion and now there's one option here go to the view option in view there's one option called freeze panes panes click click on that and say freeze panes okay now what has happened you see i have freezed it now this entire thing this was the row i had selected above this whatever row i have no everything will get freeze now you see i'm scrolling down you can see the magic now nothing is changing here everything now you see if i want to find for this particular thing now i got an idea here see f1 okay this is length this is width this is thickness quantity and total quantity previously what used to happen if i control c previously what used to happen i'll see now if i don't want that to happen again if i if i want to unfreeze click here again click here go to view freeze pin unfreeze and now you see that is disappeared so whenever you want to freeze something like that click the one which you want next to that i want this entire portion to get freeze so whatever will be above this portion will get freeze i'll select here go to the uh, freeze pane and freeze finish done got it yeah now one more thing i'll tell you i didn't do that let me try it here i did it for the row now let us say i want uh, this thing to be freezed which is that uh, maybe this things okay you see the serial number all the serial number it's moving down right see this is 1 2 it's going down right So if I want that to get freeze, then again what I can do? I'll select here. I'll go for freeze pin. First I'll unfreeze everything. Select here, freeze, unfreeze. Now if I select this, I'll see what will happen. And there is see freeze first column. Now you can see the first column did it get freeze? No, nothing happened. I think this change will not happen. So for that what we can do? I can do one thing. Instead of doing that, I'll select here. i'll go to free spin and i'll say first i'll unfreeze everything okay yeah i'll select for this now i'll select this one freeze and freeze pen so now what will happen okay this also got uh, freeze okay maybe uh, it's not happening now i'll discover it and maybe uh, later uh, when i teach you the excel completely there i'm going to teach you all these things okay and yeah this i thought i have to explain it here because sometimes what will happen since you're working for the first time if the length width and depth is not seen to you you will get confused now you can see how it has to be freeze so this you can adopt everywhere and you can work on the excel sheets got it yeah so i think uh, we have done this also uh, we have understood how to calculate the uh, pcc quantity uh, for the drawing that is given to us so in this particular drawing there were 21 footings and for all the 21 footings we require around roughly how much it is uh, 3.74 uh, cubic meter of pcc is required right great So in the next lecture, we'll try to see how to find out the shuttering quantity for your uh, footing, uh, the concrete quantity for the footing, and other things. We'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.